If you are a fan of softball, you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. From softballjunk.com, we're bringing you more softball than anyone on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello, I'm Gary Leland, and this is the Fast Pitch TV show. Make sure and take a look at all my videos, blogs, and softball information on my website at fastpitch.tv. The Fast Pitch TV website brings you more free softball information than anyone on the planet. Now, today I have an interview I conducted with former Olympian Monica Abbott at the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association's National Convention. If you're not familiar with the NFCA, go to their website at nfca.org for more information. You really need to check them out. Now, I really enjoyed this interview. Let's go to the interview with Monica right after this short message about my Fast Pitch magazine, which you can find at fastpitchmagazine.com. Oops, sorry. I was reading this month's issue of the Fast Pitch Magazine. What? You're not familiar with the Fast Pitch Magazine? Watch this. You are going to love it. Looks great, right? Want to find more about the number one coaching tool on the internet? Go to fastpitchmagazine.com today. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it that this event is so busy out here taking the time uh, to talk to me here. But I want to I want to start this interview going back and in your life back to the early days when you first started doing softball. Tell me, how old were you when you started playing softball? Tell me about that experience. Okay, well, I started playing when like most kids like I played t-ball and I actually played like in the Bobby Sox organization so and my old, my older sister played so I kind of followed in, her in into softball yeah was she a pitcher also or? she did at one time she was the pitcher and I was the catcher but um, no I eventually crossed over to pitching but she pitched played shortstop she was like your one of your parents your first coaches or did you play on someone else's team um, no my parents never really coached me my mom played softball in like high school so it was kind of like a natural thing to go into but um, my, they were more like the team manager and right yeah. right so and then we go to high school uh, where'd you play high school ball I went to North Salinas High School Vikings <laughs> this was our thing uh, is that your deal yeah oh, that would be a Viking yeah that's a, that's the Viking chop Okay, guys, Viking chops, if yeah. we're doing the chops here. And so how was that experience in high school? It was great. I loved high school. Um, North Salinas High. high um, gosh, I played a lot of softball there and coached by Keith Berg. And, you know, we won three championships. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah so y'all won three state championships? Yeah. Well, had a good pitcher, I heard. Yeah, well, she's all right. <laughs> then we went on to college. Yeah, I went on to college. Just tell us about that. University of Tennessee. and What's, what's the deal? We got the Vikings. What's the Tennessee deal? We got one? Um, I'll have to put you on the spot now. I know. <laughs> I would say maybe, like, go Vols. Like, okay. So if you said something to me, like, I'd always respond, go Vols. Okay, there you go. So tell yeah. us about the uh, Vols. Okay, um, University of Tennessee played for Ralph and Karen Weekly. <laughs> And uh, How was that Marty playing McDaniel. For them, playing for a, a two uh, married couple. I've always wondered that. You know, a lot of people ask, but it was kind of like a natural fit because they were, it made it more of a family. And although, like, you know, they have their moments where they kind of like bicker, but bicker back and forth as like a married couple. Right. But we're so used to it as, as athletes that it just becomes kind of natural. And it's all in good fun. Like, they are really good about playing, playing off of each other's strengths and weaknesses. And um, I don't know. It keeps it light. Right, no, no. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that it's more of a family atmosphere yeah. with the two of them. Yeah, absolutely. It c creates like a community in the softball and within the softball team. And then after uh, that, you went on to the uh, MPF, I guess. 
Yeah, the National Pro Fast Pitch League. I play for the Chicago Bandits. And y'all, I hate to say, y'all have won there. Yeah, we ha we've won um, some championships there. Um, Bill Sokolis is the owner. Aaron, he's a good guy. Aaron Moore is the general manager. And it's been a great, like, we actually just got a brand new stadium in Rosemont, Illinois, right outside of O'Hare Airport. And it's, you know, one of the first stadiums ever built for a female professional sport. So it's pretty saying, awesome. This is the only stadium out of all the MPF that has their own stadium of that caliber, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm not sure because I know Akron has a stadium, and I'm not sure how theirs is like run. Well, I know y'all's is supposed to be pretty nice that I hear. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's turf. Locker rooms are state of the art. Um, we have a digital scoreboard that's double sided because we're right next to the freeway. So oh. the people on the freeway can watch. Can oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, that's real cool. Now we're in Japan. Well, we're not in Japan, but mm -hmm. you just got back from Japan. Yeah. How long have you been playing in Japan? I play for Toyota Motor Corporation in Japan, and I went over there after the Olympics. So I've been there since 2009. I just finished my, oh my gosh, my sixth season. Wow. Mm -hmm. Six years now. You and Natasha Watley are on the same team. Yep, we went over there together, and we've been there ever since. Well, I didn't know y'all had been together the whole time. Yeah, the entire time. And y'all won a championship this year for sure. We did. Yes, we won the championship this year. Um, Toyota. So. Um, Is that the cheer? Actually, it's like this. Toyota. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Um, do the, do the fans goal. do that in the audience? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And we have cheerleaders too, like, but they're male, male cheer. On the sidelines? Yeah, we have male cheerleaders. It's well, that, great. Yeah, I would love to <laughs> they see do one that. of these games. Yeah. So, okay, so you're playing for Toyota. Everybody's doing a Toyota thing. Everybody's the cheerleaders are down there. So it's a little bit different than playing here, is what we're trying to say, right? Yeah, I mean the fan interaction, I think, is a little bit more like it's an experience. So there's less games in Japan, and so everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to the softball game this week, and it becomes. Oh. More of an it's a bigger deal. It's a, it becomes more a bigger deal. becomes a more of an experience where they have like bands and the cheerleaders and a lot of the company employees come to come to the games. There's a built-in fan base. I've always wondered. Does yeah, that makes sense with the Toyota workers are supporting their team. Do Toyota workers are some of them on the team, or do some of the players work for Toyota? I yeah. mean, or is it all strictly people who play softball only? Basically, all the girls work for Toyota too. So, but they work for Toyota's softball team. And then they actually, like when they retire, like they have a built-in career. Oh, at Toyota? Yeah, so like if they wanted to, let's say they came a lot, of, some, some of them come out of high school at 18 and then a lot come out of college. And so let's say they play softball for five or six years and then they're like, you know what, I'm ready for phase two of my life. Then, then they have a job for the rest of their life in Toyota corporate offices. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I find out a lot today yeah. about that. So, do um, you have, like, does the coach speak English or do you have, like, interpreters? I have an interpreter, Miyako Ikuhara. Um, so, she kind of follows us around. Are you learning any Japan? Japanese? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay, of course, yeah. Of course. I had uh, when I had Natasha on, I made her speak some Japanese. Did you? Oh yeah. my gosh! I may give you a break on that one. Okay. So uh, in the playing over there, also I'm kind of wondering, um, the, is it even with our interpreter? Is it kind of hard to get used to playing on a team with a bunch of people who don't, with your teammates not speaking English? Well, of course. I mean, we're so used to talking to each other so easily. You go over there and you have to, you know, I became really good at charades. No. So like, <laughs> I'm great at hand movements and gestures and. Um, it's hard because you don't know how to communicate with them, but you find a way. And I think one of the most amazing things about softball is that it is its own language. So, like, no matter if I'm playing in Japan or I'm a, you talk to people in, that have played in Italy or the Netherlands and Canada or Mexico, it's, softball has a has a distinct language and no, and it brings people together because everyone knows that every softball player knows that language yeah yeah that's a good point now, i've skipped by accident i don't know why i would skip is important you were also on the olympic team yes yeah and, then, and you were on that coming right out of school is that right or? yeah um i made the olympic team in 2005 after my freshman year freshman year of college i think okay so you were still uh, so you were a sophomore during the olympics no 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 i was um I just graduated. Okay. So I graduated in 2007. I went to the Olympics in 2008. Okay. Okay. My first year on the national team was uh, 2005. So what was that experience like, getting out of college, 
playing at a big level already, playing for Tennessee. Now you're playing on the world stage for the first time. I mean, I think for me, it was always like the vision and the dream, the goal. Like, uh, yeah, I had this dream of playing, but for me, I always saw it. Like, I always saw myself doing it. So that so was the goal. It, seemed, it was always, it was in the vision. Like, I knew, like, okay, I'm going to go to college, and then I'm going to go to the Olympics. Like, there was no questions. Like, it was just like, Monica, what are you going to do? Like, oh, I'm going to go to the Olympics and play softball. Like, when you were younger, did you dominate, not, not saying like t-ball age, but like in high school, did you dominate like you do now? Because I, I have to say you're a dominating pitcher. Um, I, I've always been like a, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you've always thrown know. hard. Yeah. I've always, I guess I've always thrown hard. Um, yeah, to an extent, I guess. But I've had, you know, my learning curves and moments just like any pitcher. So let's go on to like helping some other kids. Okay. There's this kid out there, thousands of them probably, that want to be Monica Abbott. That they want to get to this plateau that you've made it to. You're at the top of the mountain. Not much room up there. A lot of room at the base. Mm -hmm. Not much at the top. Any hint or anything you can say to me and say, hey, here's a tip that if you want to really get there, this is a tip. Yeah, you know, one thing that I always tell players is whether they're a pitcher, a catcher, a slapper, outfielder, infielder, whatever it is, I always say, like, become great at one thing. Like, pick one one pitch, pick one type of hitting. Maybe it's hitting the outside pitch, like, then you can hit that really, really well. And don't become just good at it. Become amazing at it. Where it, you're so good that you can dominate at it. And then once you're so good at that, start to develop everything else. Because then it's going to make that, it'll complement your one thing that's so good and I'll make it look even that much better. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. Now, I know you have some DVDs mm -hmm. and you put a lot of good posts on your site for yeah. people. Where can people find the information this site? Well, I can't remember the website name. Please tell us that. Yeah, you can always find me on my website at monicaabbott.com. Why can't I remember that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or you can, you know, also look at Twitter or Facebook, of course. And I, I just assume anything. on Facebook you're Monica Abbott, Twitter you're yeah. Monica Abbott. Okay. Yeah, still the same. Monica okay. Abbott. <laughs> I, I got that part down, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, I guess that's really it. I want to thank you for taking the time to come on the show. And I want to say, go Viking. Is that it? Go balls. Go balls. No, I thought say it was go Vikings. Balls. 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 Go, go balls. balls. Always for Tennessee. Go orange. Go orange. Yeah. I got pink. What do you think about a pink shirt? It looks good on huh? me. Real men wear pink. Hey, yeah, I'm showing my support for women's. Yeah, uh, for women's softball. There you go. Thanks, go. Monica. Thank you. Looking for a softball bat? Do you want to say $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount on all regular price bats on the website. That's right, $30 discount. Just text the word FASTPITCH to 555-888 and Gary will send you a discount code good for $30 off your next softball bet at softballjunk.com. FYI, that code's also good at the Arlington, Texas store. Welcome back. Now that last short clip, well that was my daughter Amanda and she was telling you about my website softballjunk.com. Make sure you text the word FASTPITCH to 555-888 and get your discount code for $30 off your next softball bat. You can use that code at checkout to save you $30 and you can use the code over and over and over and over. It's really a great deal. You just need to start by texting FASTPITCH to 555-888 and I'll text you back the discount code. Now if you enjoy this show, I ask you at least Please check out my website, softballjunk.com, the next time you're looking for softball equipment. Now, if I offer a competitive price, well, please buy from me and show your support for all the free content I bring you week after week. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please tell your friends about the Fast Pitch TV show and make sure and take a look at my website, fastpitch.tv. Until next time, this is your host, Gary Leland, saying goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>